Hi everybody! Welcome to Storytime. My name is Allison. Are you guys ready for our stories today? Well, let's say hello to each other. Can I see your hands? Let's say hello to each other and let's get our feet. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as high as we can. Hello! Good. Hands again. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as low as we can. Hello. Good. Hands again, bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as fast as we can. Hello, 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 hello. <laughs> Good job. Hands again, bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as slow as we can. Hello. <laughs> Hands again, bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as soft as we can. Hello. Good job. Well, let me get out my magic hat so we can figure out what kind of stories we're doing this week. You ready for my trick? I'm the best magician. I can pull anything out of this hat. Abra, Kadabra! Huh? Oh, what is that? Lettuce? Or maybe cabbage? Do you guys think we're doing lettuce stories today? Mm -mm. That does not seem right to me. Hmm, let me try my trick again. You ready? I'm the best magician. I can pull anything out of this hat. Abracadabra! Huh? What is that? Tiny cup? Do you guys think we're doing tiny cup stories today? Hmm, that doesn't make sense to me. Hmm, let me try my trick again. Will you guys help this time? I'm the best magician. I can pull anything out of this hat. Abracadabra! Yes! Would you look at that? Today we are doing bird stories. And we will see this little friend in a story later. Let's see. Let's go to our alphabet then. Hmm. Do you guys notice a letter missing today? I see one. I see one right here. The missing letter for today is B. B for bird. Let's sing our ABCs all together. Are you ready? On one, two, three. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time won't you sing with me? Very nice job. Well, let me pull my letters off the board to make our little felt board. And I have one thing to talk to you guys about before we get started with our first story. And that is that if you are watching this in June 2020, it is time to play the Ann Arbor District Library Summer Reading Game. Our code for this story time is B 
Birds the Word. So you can type this in at play.adl.org to get your points for the story time. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, but you'd like to learn more, you can go to our website at play.aadl.org, um, or also we'll have some videos up on our aadl.tv YouTube page. So, Birds the Word is the code for this story time. Now, we can go to our first bird story. This is one of my faves. This is Grumpy Bird by Jeremy Tankard. When Bird woke up, he was grumpy. He was too grumpy to eat. He was too grumpy to play. In fact, he was too grumpy to fly. Bird said, looks like I'm walking today. Bird walked past sheep. Good morning, Bird, said sheep. What are you doing? Walking, said Bird. Nice, said sheep. I will keep you company. Bird walked past rabbit. Hey there, bird, said rabbit. What are you doing? I'm walking, said bird. It is no fun. Hmm, said rabbit. I could use some exercise. I will walk too. Bird walked past raccoon. Hey, bird, said raccoon. What are you doing? I'm walking, snapped bird. What does it look like? It looks like fun, said raccoon. I'm coming too. Bird walked past beaver. Hello, bird, said beaver. What are you doing? Let me give you a hint, said Bird. You do it by placing one foot in front of the other. Walking, gasped Beaver. Oh, I love walking. Bird walked past Fox. Good day, Bird, said Fox. What are you doing? Why does everyone want to know what I'm doing, shouted Bird. I am just walking, okay? Okay, said Fox. Let's go. So Bird walked and the other animals walked. Bird stopped. The other animals stopped. Bird stood on one leg. The other animals stood on one leg. Bird jumped. The other animals jumped too. Hey, said Bird, this is fun. Come on, said Bird who had forgotten all about being grumpy. Let's fly back to my nest for a snack. And they did. The end. Very nice listening, you guys. Good job. Let's see, can I see your hands? Stretch them up, stretch them down. Stretch them up, down, up, down, up. <laughs> stretch them out, stretch them in. Stretch them out, ooh. Stretch them in, ee. Stretch them out, ooh. Stretch to the side. Stretch to the other side. Bring them around down. Stretch them out. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Stretch them down. Stretch them up. Tall. Stretch them down. Small. Stretch them up. Tall. Stretch them down, small. Stretch them up, band up, band back, and back, whoa. Stretch them forward, flip them over, close your hands, 
and follow me. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Lay them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, crawl them, creep them, crawl them. Right up to your chin, chin, chin. Open up your little mouth. Bleah! But do not let them in. Whoop! Open, shut them, open, shut them. To your shoulders, fly, fly, fly. Higher, 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 high like birds in the sky. Falling, falling, slowly fall like raindrops to the ground. Quickly pick them up again and turn them round and round. <gasps> faster, 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 faster still. Faster, 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 faster still. Faster, 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 faster still. Faster, faster, faster! And slowly slow them down. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Lay them in your lap, lap, lap. Very nice. Good job, you guys. Well, I have another bird story for us. The story comes from this book here, Purple Little Bird by Greg Foley. So let's get our friend Purple Bird out. Let's see. Purple Little Bird loved everything purple. He lived in a purple house with a purple fence and a very purple garden. Now, Purple Little Bird tried very hard to make his house perfect, but no matter what Purple Little Bird tried, there is always something not quite right. Hmm, said Purple Little Bird, I need to go out and find my perfect place to live. So, Purple Little Bird said goodbye to his house, and he went Walking, 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 until Purple Little Bird ran into Brown Bear. Purple Bird said, Hi, Brown Bear. I am looking for the perfect place to live. Oh, said Brown Bear. Well, my cave is warm and cozy. Oh, said Purple Little Bird, it is warm and cozy, but it's a little too dark. This is not the perfect place for me. Goodbye, Brown Bear. And so Purple Little Bird went walking, 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 until Purple Little Bird ran into Gray Goat. Purple Little Bird said, Gray Goat, I am looking for the perfect place to live. Gray Goat said, Oh, well, my home is bright and sunny. Oh, yes, it is, said Purple Little Bird, but it's a little too windy for me. This is not my perfect place. Bye, Gray Goat. And off went Purple Little Bird looking for his perfect place to live. He went walking, 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 until Purple Little Bird ran into Yellow Camel. Yellow Camel, said Purple Little Bird. I am looking for the perfect place to live. Oh, said Yellow Camel. Well, my home is nice and quiet. Hmm, said Purple Little Bird. It is nice and quiet, but it's too sandy for me. 
this is not my perfect place either. Bye, yellow candle. And so purple little bird went walking, 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 until purple little bird ran into blue frog. Blue frog, said purple little bird, I am looking for the perfect place to live. Blue frog said, oh, well, my home is cool and refreshing. Hmm, said purple little bird. It is cool and refreshing, but it's a little too damp for me. This is not my perfect place. Goodbye, blue frog. And off went purple little bird. He went walking, 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 until purple little bird ran into pink possum. Purple little bird said, pink possum. I am looking for the perfect place to live. And Purple Little Bird told Pink Possum about all of the places he had visited. Hmm, said Pink Possum. You are looking for a place that is not too dark. It's not too windy or sandy or damp. <gasps> I know the perfect place for you to live. Here, come with me, I'll show you. So Pink Possum and Purple Little Bird went walking, 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 until they arrived at the perfect place. But Purple Little Bird was very surprised to discover that the perfect place was a very purple house with a purple fence and a very purple garden. Huh, said Purple Little Bird, my house has been perfect the whole time. Hmm, I know what the problem is. My house is too purple. So the two friends thought about all the other friends they had met on their journey. And together they turned Purple Little Bird's house into the perfect place to live. The end. Good listening. Very nice, you guys. Let me take our friends off the board here. And then let's do a little silly song. If you wanna go ahead and stand up, I'm gonna stay on the couch so you can still see me. And let's do our pirate song. You guys ready? When I was one, I sucked my thumb. On the day I went to sea, I jumped on board a pirate ship and the captain said to me, Oh, you'll go this way, that way, forwards, backwards, over the deep blue sea. When I was two, I tied my shoe on the day I went to sea. I jumped on board a pirate ship and the captain said to me, Oh, you'll go this way, that way, forwards, backwards, over the deep blue sea. When I was three, I tapped my knee on the day I went to sea. I jumped on board a pirate ship and the captain said to me, Oh, you'll go this way, that way, forwards, backwards, over the deep blue sea. When I was four, I shut the door, whoop, on the day I went to sea. I jumped on board a pirate ship and the captain said to me, Oh, you'll go this way, that way, forwards, backwards, over the deep blue sea. Last time, when I was five, I jumped and jived on the day I went to sea. I jumped on board a pirate ship and the captain said to me, Oh, you'll go this way, that way, forwards, backwards, over the deep blue sea. Very nice. Good job, you guys. Let's see. Can I see your fingers too? I have 10 fingers. 
They all belong to me. I can make them do things. Do you want to see? I can wiggle them high. I can wiggle them low. I can fold them together and hold them just so. I can squeeze them together. I can open them wide. I can fold them together. I can make them all hide. Whoop! I can wiggle them high. I can wiggle them low. I can fold them together and hold them just so. Let's do our deep breaths. You ready? Hands together. Deep breath in. <gasps> and out. <sighs> Good. Let's do it one more time. You ready? Hands together. Deep breath in. <gasps> and out. <sighs> Very good. All right, I have one more story for us. And this is the story of Princess Penelope's parrot. Now, Princess Penelope's birthday was quite the occasion. Her dress had ruffles on its ruffles. She had a mountain of presents, and each one was even better than the last. For her birthday, Princess Penelope got roller blades that were covered in jewels. Ooh! But all Princess Penelope would say was, Gimme, gimme! Mine! That's your guys' part. Will you try it? Gimme, gimme! Mine! Is that how you're supposed to receive gifts on your birthday? Does that seem very nice? Mm -mm. Princess Penelope also got a new bike with flashing lights. Ooh! But when she saw it, all Princess Penelope said was, you ready? Gimme, gimme! Mine! Ooh! Princess Penelope got ten new bathing suits, and she counted them all. Will you count with me? She had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten new bathing suits. Ooh! But when she saw them, all Princess Penelope could say was, Gimme, gimme! Mine! Ooh. Princess Penelope even got a cake that was six layers tall. Wow. And at the top of that cake, she received a beautiful parrot in a golden cage. She took the parrot out of the cage and looked at it. The princess looked at the parrot and with a mouthful of cake, she said, Say something! The parrot just looked at the princess. Princess Penelope crossed her arms and said, I don't like you. The parrot just stared at the princess. Princess Penelope stomped her foot and said, I don't want to see you. The parrot just looked at the princess. Ugh, said Princess Penelope. This parrot is useless. So she took her new present, her new parrot, and she put him behind her throne. There, she said, bye-bye. But soon, Princess Penelope got some very good news indeed. Prince Percival was going to come and visit her on her birthday. Ooh, Princess Penelope was so excited. She wanted to be Mrs. Prince Percival when she grew up. So she got herself all dressed up. She brushed her beautiful hair. She put on a sweet smile and she sat down on top of her throne. Soon it was announced that Prince Percival was here and he came riding in. When he got to the princess, Prince Percival bowed. Then he looked at the princess. A voice from behind the throne said, 
mine! The princess looked around. She said, hmm. But Prince Percival just stared at the princess. A voice from behind the throne said, say something! Did the princess say that? Who do you think said it? The prince just looked at the princess and thought, hmm, she seems so sweet, but she is so rude. Then the voice from behind the throne said, I don't want to see you. Hmm, said Prince Percival. All right, then I will leave. And off he went. Oh. Princess Penelope was all alone on her throne, and she was deeply embarrassed. She said, who said that? And out from behind the throne came the parrot. The parrot looked at Princess Penelope and said, bye-bye, and off he went, chasing after Prince Percival. and Prince Percival became best friends forever. They played together all day, every day. But Princess Penelope was so embarrassed. But her mom and dad, the king and queen, said she would just have to get over it. The end. Very nice, you guys. Great listening. Well, we are at the end of story time. So let me get out my dancing tiger and the board that he dances on. I know you guys have done this before, but for those of you who haven't, when you see Tiger up in the air, you can just watch him. But when Tiger starts to jump and dance on the board, you can jump up and dance too. You ready? There was a girl from France who didn't know how to dance. The only thing that she could do was knees up, Mother Brown. Oh, knees up, Mother Brown. Knees up, Mother Brown. Knees up, knees up, never let the breeze up. Knees up, Mother Brown. Sit down, sit down. There was a teeny tiger man. He loved to do handstands. You ready? Let's see if he can do it this week. He needs one arm down. Oh, there we go. Two arms down for a handstand. Hey, that's not too bad. Oh, oh. The only other thing that he could do was knees up, Mother Brown. Oh, knees up, Mother Brown. Woo hee! Knees up, Mother Brown. Hoo wee! Knees up, knees up, never let the breeze up. Knees up, Mother Brown, faster! Knees up, Mother Brown, knees up, Mother Brown. Knees up, knees up, fun. Knees up, Mother Brown. Very nice. Well, wiggle, wiggle fingers, way up to the sky. Wiggle, wiggle fingers, wave them all goodbye. Great job today, you guys. It was so good to see you, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.